don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Your, your baby is with the police. She's okay. I'm like, I was so confused. A Vacaville mom came home to find her apartment unlocked and her toddler and the babysitter gone. This all happened a few weeks ago when the woman returned home from a long night at work. New tonight, CBS 13's Drew Balea breaks down what happened and explains why two neighborhood teens are being called heroes. Jessica Shepard used the website care.com to find her babysitter. She did her background checks and had even used this sitter three times before in the past. That was until this most recent time when she came home to an empty house, no babysitter, and no child. It was dark, near a busy street and a pool fence. I was scared for her. Not where you'd expect to find a toddler alone. She was crying. She had a tissue. But that's where Lizette Vasquez found three-year-old Daphne. Someone could have took her or she could have walked to the streets and got hit by a car. Vasquez and her friend Julio are being called heroes after they notified police about the child. We tried to keep her as, as calm as possible. We were able to give her a teddy bear. Daphne was okay. Her mom, Jessica Shepard, just got home from work when she was greeted by distraught neighbors. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Your, your baby is with the police. She's okay. I'm like, I was so confused. Shepard had left her only daughter with the babysitter for the night. This is my everything. I don't have anything else. Upset and concerned, Shepard wanted to know where was the babysitter? Police say little Daphne was wandering around this location for more than a half hour, just feet away from the pool. At about the same time, some different officers investigating a DUI crash at this intersection. Somebody hit this pole. Behind the wheel, Shepard's babysitter, Kathleen Stevens. In a breathalyzer test, it was found Stevens' blood alcohol content was three times the legal limit. We were able to, to confirm that the driver of the vehicle in the, in the uh, DUI collision was actually the babysitter that was missing. A lesson learned. You just never know. And a mother forever grateful to two quick thinking teens. She was crying, said she owed me her life, and she hugged me. We went to Stephen's home, and she wasn't there. According to the report, she told police that she had left the apartment because she was sick, later saying that it was because of a family emergency. Now she's facing a DUI and cruelty to children charge, and she's no longer listed on care.com. True, thanks for the wild story out of Vacaville.